Hey guys, in this video we're doing our non-Premier League England 11, as you can see by the title of the video and on the top left corner of your screens. So yeah, this is a England squad, how I'd set it out without the Premier League teams, I guess. And yes, before you say Sam Johnson in net is Premier League player technically, I'm not including him as a Premier League player or Rianne Brewster on the bench. Because technically they have been relegated, therefore they are no longer Premier League players. Hence why I haven't included Max Ahrens at right back because he's been promoted with Norwich. Or I haven't included Ben Foster or Will Hughes or any promoted players or any Brentford players that are in the playoff. So yeah, this is our non-Premier League England squad. And also there could be an argument that Ryan Sessegnon on loan from Spurs and Harvey Elliott on loan from Liverpool shouldn't be included in this. But yeah, Harvey Elliott's quality, so say less. So yeah, starting on the left wing, we've got a former Leicester player, Damari Gray. Don't know how he's doing, but he's got a special card, so he must be doing something right. Showdown card. Is that special? Oh no, that's just random, isn't it? That's not like for playing well or anything. But well, he's, he was a decent player in FIFA a year or so ago, so yeah, you can get in the squad. Adam Armstrong, very talented player, wanted by Newcastle and Southampton, I believe. Very good little player there. And then, of course, a former Liverpool player himself, Ryan Kent on the right. FIFA controller breaker, but yeah, he's a talented player as well. It's quality at free kicks. Oh, one minute, my cat is just being a nuisance. Alright, there we go, sorted. And then Bellingham and Sancho, the Dortmund link up in midfield again, as shown in the previous one with Sancho actually starting and Bellingham on the bench. Followed by a perfect link as well. Well, Capgun Tom will be buzzing. Play the clip. Yeah, no, I'm not Danny Aarons, I don't play clips. But yeah. Tavernier and Goldson at the back and then good old um, I'm Chris Smalling and I'm Phil Jones at the back and then Ryan to send you on left back he's a left mid but he can play left back I believe can you play left back wait does it say prefer no it only says left mid but yeah you can play left back and then Lee Grant's in the mid I don't know who on earth this bloke is but he's got a special car team this season so he must do something right just going on to the bench, we a basic overview of the bench. We've got Rian Brewster, talented player, hasn't performed at all for Sheffield, but still, as I know as a Liverpool fan, he's a very talented player. Marmalade, oh, my cat is starting to piss me off. Sorry about the language, but yeah. Um, we've got Jay as well. Exeter, they pop up so much on my TikTok for you page, it's unreal. Them commenting on other people's posts, like if a football club comments on my post, I'll get R9 trim or whatever. They're, I swear they're always there for them posts. And then anyway, moving on, Harvey Elliott, generational talent. Nick Powell did his, SP, not his SBC, his objectives. And yeah, Stoke, you must be good to get a special card at Stoke. <laughs> Trippier, about to win the league, like I said with the previous video. Tamori, been playing well for AC Milan. I don't watch much Serie A, but I know he's been playing well. England have no decent goalkeepers that aren't in the Premier League, if I show you here. Get rid of Harvey Elliott, no disrespect. Um, goalkeeper, England. Look, we've got no decent goalkeepers, apart from the Cyclone GK, of course. These are all Premier League, because none of these teams have been relegated. And then it's that Phillips bloke. Still Premier League, still Premier League, all Premier League. Ramsdale could be a shout. But yeah, that's about it, so... Oh, I've got rid of him now. Well, he's gone now. <laughs> and then, obviously, the reserves are just honourable mentions. We've got Stephen Corker, another former Liverpool player. No clue who this guy is, but that hairline's looking wavy, so he's included in the squad. And then, Angel Gomez, ex-Man United player, very good talent. Clark Harris, apparently very talented, according to Theo Ogden or Fogden, whatever you want to call him. And Fogdad, quality bowlers they are. And then, um, yeah, this guy, Michael... Is it Michael Edwards, a former Spurs player, I believe? Marcus Edwards, very talented player, and I'd get him in career mode. I highly recommend him. And, of course, Gerard as the manager. Mark my words, he'll be England manager by 2020, 2040. I was about to say 2023, then 2040. But, yeah, that's how I'd line up England without the Premier League, I guess. But yeah, disclaimer once more. The West Brom and Sheffield players I have included. I'm not including them as Premier League players due to the fact they have been relegated. Therefore, I could also include Fulham players if I wanted to, but just no, Fulham stinky. Peace out.